That is exactly why we do this phase. This is the exact reason for the foundation block is a lot of you are always gonna have uh, one side more dominant. Good morning, or whatever time it is where you are. It's morning here. I'm Renee, I'm from Origins Parkour, and today I'm gonna be doing my lower body workout from the foundation block from the Parkour Off-Season Training Bible, which is an article I wrote, you can check it out. Link in the description below to basically follow the training that I have worked out for myself and for other people through uh, 17 years or so that I've been doing parkour. I'm gonna be making some adjustments because of a really embarrassing bail that I had. I smashed my knee into a wall pretty hard. Ooh. That happened just over three months ago and my knee is still not 100%. Currently waiting for an MRI to uh, see if there's anything special going on in there, but otherwise I've just been continuing with a more conventional approach to rehab it. So I'm gonna be starting off with some rehab exercises and then I'm gonna be skipping some of the dynamic stuff that is written in the program and we'll be getting into uh, the weight training. Now the good news is uh, is that my knee can, can load really well, so I was doing a strength block with some box squats for the last couple of months to basically not have my leg totally atrophy into a tiny little nothing. So uh, leg to leg right now, I'm looking pretty good and I'm getting close to the point where my body can actually handle uh, some of the dynamic exercises that I have listed in this program. So I'm not gonna be doing any of those this week, but. Uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll be able to incorporate some of the jumps and movements that are in the total program. I did my upper body workout yesterday and throughout the next uh, few weeks I'm going to try to take you all through each individual workout. So if you do have questions please put those in the comments below and I'll try to get to them in the next video. If you want to support the channel and support uh, what I'm doing here, the information I'm giving out, also remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment, that is how this thing works. So the more you engage with this video, the more successful it's gonna be and the more I am going to be inclined to put out more content like it. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna jump into this lower body workout. Okay, we got a band, we got a weight, and we got a bench. Exciting stuff. This exercise has actually been uh, one of the most crucial during my recovery, so I've been doing this straight leg raise where I, I lock my knee out and then lift it under tension uh, for oh, like two months now. And it gets better and better, but it is, it is the one exercise where as soon as I do it and I start walking around after, my, my knee feels a lot better. So that's about as dynamic as I can be right now. Those are all, just little exercises that we're using, uh, me and my physiotherapist Ian, to uh, just get a little bit more elasticity and uh, sports specific, I say parkour specific movement back into my life. All right, as I said, we are skipping uh, any sort of dynamic stuff. I can actually do dinos uh, and uh, cat backs on my other side, but uh, we're gonna skip those for another session. So we're gonna move right along to uh, some Bulgarian split squats. Okay, I just finished my workup sets and already my left leg is like, what is this? What are we doing? Uh, I can already tell my, my glutes are gonna be sore tomorrow and I haven't even done my first work set yet. So uh, the way I'm calculating my weight is a little bit different than how I've uh, described in the, the program. I like to, uh, anything I put up publicly, I like to write as low as possible so that you macho guys out there don't go ham and then start failing lifts in the first week and complain this program doesn't work so everything in the program is is based super super low so that you do not wreck yourself I've had a lot of experience with uh, uh, split squats and squats as well so what I've done is I, I calculated my one rep max for my split squat off of a box squat I did recently. So recently I was able to do a 335 pound box squat and I've used 70% of that. So again, 20% uh, different than what I am recommending in the program. But hear me out, 70% of 335 is 215. 
and I have done split squats at 205 before for reps so it is pretty modest for me to assume right now I could handle uh, one rep even on my bad leg uh, with 215 pounds. So what I have behind me here is 150 pounds which is 70% of that so I'm doing the lower end of the first day of the foundation block because like I said I can already feel that uh, my legs are gonna hate this tomorrow and I don't want to be uh, I don't want to punish myself anymore I don't want to be super 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 sore tomorrow so uh, we're gonna do 150 it's a nice round number and we're gonna try to bang out four sets of five to do the minimal amount today That was actually harder on my right leg than my left leg. My, my left leg is my injured leg, but pre-injury, uh, it's definitely my more dominant jumping leg and a little bit stronger than my right typically. I guess the other thing to consider is that by the time you get to your final reps on your other leg, so you do one leg and the other one, you're pretty close to, to 10 reps at that point, right? So. By the time you're on rep three for your second leg, that's rep eight, rep nine, rep 10. And when we're doing maybe squats or other things, we're only doing five reps at a time. So part of uh, what makes that second leg a struggle maybe isn't weakness, but is uh, just fatigue from, from doing a, a big set of 10. So uh, what I'm gonna do for the next set is now, now that I know my left leg is okay, I've been, I've been starting with my left leg, on uh, each set so far, but now that I know that it can take the weight and it's okay, and it actually actually feels great, but now that I know it's okay, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do for the next set is I'm gonna start on my right leg and then go left leg second. That was a little smoother, so I guess I guess my left leg is still a little bit stronger than my right leg in spite of, uh, in spite of the injury. It must be more of a brain thing, like the, just the connection there. Just, my leg is just better at firing than, uh, than my right one. But uh, that's, that is exactly why we do this phase. This is the exact reason for the foundation block is a lot of you are always going to have uh, one side more dominant than the other. And sometimes there's good reason for that in, uh, in parkour as well as different sports but uh, it is important to get in a phase of training like this to try to balance yourself out, to try to you know, see if we can get some extra work in where uh, we don't normally get it. All right, last set of five. All right, done with those, thank God. Here we go, fill this up. Next up, we are gonna be doing some Swiss ball loop bridge leg curls. I do not have a shorter name for this exercise. If you know one, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but I'm gonna be working towards doing uh, more volume with these on single legs, so uh, pre-injury. I could usually bang out pretty easy sets of 12 uh, one leg at a time. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be alternating and I'm gonna be doing six on each side. So kind of tw uh, half of the goal that I have moving forward. This is actually an exercise that uh, recently we just added to uh, my rehab protocols and I've only been doing negatives. So the, today is gonna be the first day that I actually do some concentric reps uh, for single leg on my injured leg. Okay, so I got two exercises left. I gotta do some single leg calf raises and I gotta do some leg raises. And the gym is about to open and I'm gonna have to put a mask on uh, as people get in here and I don't wanna be recording videos. So I'm gonna superset these two exercises so I can get them done faster. snuck away to my office so that I can do my cool down. What am I doing for cool down? Well, you're looking at it. I got my legs elevated up here. Um, having your legs elevated after a leg workout is actually probably one of the best things you can do to assist with uh, 
uh, flushing the blood, getting uh, some blood flowing to help with your recovery. After that, it's a, it's a beautiful day out, so I'm gonna go take a walk, uh, which again is gonna do more of the same thing. Uh, get a little bit of blood, blood pumping. The last thing I wanna do is just, you know, sit in that chair, which I'm gonna have to do this afternoon. I'm gonna have to sit in that chair to do some administrative work, but that's the last thing I wanna do first thing after a training session is get in a, a car or sit in a chair. You gotta do something, some sort of light um, activities such as a walk to, uh, to get that blood flowing. Some people will choose to do stretches and mobility stuff post-training and, and that, that's all good. I don't really have too much of an opinion about uh, when you do that but I usually prefer to do that stuff either as part of my warm-up or uh, at a different time in the day because it feels like more work when, <laughs> when you gotta uh, when you actually gotta do like hard stretching or hard uh, mobility work or even rolling and stuff like that it just feels like more work so right now i'm pretty gassed and uh, i just want to relax gonna go take a walk get some lunch and then get to work if you like the video please drop a like uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about any of the exercises that i did in the video if you want more explanations or a, a deeper dive into uh, how i'm manipulating the program remember a link for uh, the parkour off-season training bible is also in the description below you can follow me on ig at, at res origins and subscribe to origins parkour on youtube because if you're watching this video right now that does confirm that i have committed to recording one of these a week to take you through the post b program as i interpret it for myself so we'll see you next week stay chiseled